Hi all, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to share with you an ICD chapter, chapter 20, External Causes of Morbidity. So the code range for this chapter is V00 to Y99. Okay, so when you open the ICD textbook, you can see that actually this chapter 20 is a wide chapter with uh, two or three pages. Uh, but actually, in the examination point of view, this external causes of morbidity is not so important chapter. Okay, uh, only three or four major guidelines are there in this chapter, which I'll be discussing while passing through the slides. Okay, so I have cut short the guidelines into very few topics and I am sharing that to you all. So the first and most important point or a guideline of this chapter is should never sequence as primary code that is the codes for external codes it should never sequence as primary codes or the first codes the first code should be always the injury or health condition of the patient okay so this chapter codes uh, what all are they? I will be discussing in the next slide. It should never come as a first code. It should always come after the injury code or health condition code. That is the uh, most important guideline of this chapter. Now, what does this external course codes includes? Uh, actually, when you get when you get a patient chart. It contains so many information like the health condition of a patient or the injury of a patient, what treatment is done to the patient, so and so. Okay, now this external course codes means they give some additional information uh, about, the, um, about the situation like how the injury occurred, then what was the activity of the patient at the time of the injury. Then from where, where is the location of the patient at the time of injury? Then what is the status of the patient? And what was the intent, if anything mentioned? Like that. Okay, these additional informations are taken from these external course codes. Okay, since they provide additional information, they should never be given as the first code. The first code should be the injury or the health condition. The external code should be always sequenced after to that. So, it is given here, it includes cause, place of occurrence, activity at the time of injury, intent, status. Now, I will be discussing one by one. First one, general external cause coding guidelines. Used with any code in the range A00.0 to T88.9, Z00 to Z99 that is this course code can be used with any other code along with any other injury or health condition code okay now what is this cause means cause means how the injury occurred or how the condition occurred that is the cause meaning of cause okay now this course codes will be having seventh character what is seventh character if you forget what is seventh character just go to the fracture chapter Okay, I have discussed in detail what is 7th character, what all are the common 7th characters coming in all, everything about the 7th character I have already discussed in that fracture chapter. Okay, so the common 7th characters A, D and S, A for initial encounter, D for subsequent encounter, S for sequelae. Okay, the same 7th character is applicable in this course case also. Okay. Next point, assign as many external course codes as needed. That is, if more than one external course codes is needed, means you can quote that. Okay, uh, I will give one example for what is this cause means. Uh, example, patient comes to the emergency re uh, department with a fracture of his wrist which occurred due to falling, uh, falling from the staircase. Okay, if that was the condition, what is the reason for the patient came to the hospital? The reason is patient is having a fracture, fracture of the wrist. How the fracture occurred? The fracture occurred due to fall from staircase. So, what is the cause? The cause is falling from staircase. Okay, that is the cause. Next point can never be principal code, which I have already um, said to you. The next one, combination external codes. 
uh, this means sometimes the patient got an injury uh, after falling and uh, striking against an object like that if it is mentioned like that and when you search for the code you will get a exact description like that itself falling and striking against object in that is a combination external cause code so that you can take that single code okay then last one no external cause code needed in certain circumstances uh, for example in condition like poisoning poisoning by Penicillin. You have a T-series code which clearly describes a condition, poisoning by penicillin, then the intention, accidental, unintentional, uh, like that you have a clear code from T-series. In such case, the cause itself is clearly mentioned with the code itself. So, no need to uh, give additional external cause codes. Okay, so the important point of this cause is that it should never be coded as a first code. Then it, 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 will, it will contain a seventh character. Then if combination code is there, means you can use that combination code. Okay, that is the first one, cause. Now the second one is place of occurrence. Place of occurrence is the place or the location from where the injury occurred. Okay, if it was the falling from staircase uh, in a hospital means the place of occurrence is the hospital like that okay the code series is y92 series okay uh, then when you get two or more cause external cause codes like uh, uh, causes mentioned there places mentioned there activities mentioned there means first you have to code the cause very first you have to code the injury code or health condition code after that you have to code the cause code after that you have to give the place or activity codes okay that is it is secondary code after cause code the next point generally used only once in the initial encounter that is this place of occurrence code is usually used in the initial visits only Okay, if the patient comes for a second or third visit, that is a subsequent visit means we will not usually give this place of occurrence Y92 codes. Okay, but the course codes can be given. The place codes will not be given in the subsequent encounter. Okay, then the last point, no seventh character here. Okay, the course codes uh, have seventh character, but place codes usually do not contain seventh character. Okay, so what are the important point? Place means the activity, uh, sorry, the place means the location of the patient at the time of injury. Then the code is Y92. Then it should be sequenced after the course code. Then it should be used at the initial encounter only. That is an important point. Okay, it should be used in the initial encounter only. Next one is activity. Activity code means uh, activity of the patient at the time of the injury. Okay, the guidelines for this is same as that of the place code. Okay, like it should be also used only once in the initial encounter. They also do not contain seventh character. Okay, same guidelines only. Next one is status code. Status code the code is Y99. It indicates the work status of the patient at the time of injury occurred. What is the work status of the patient at the time of injury? Common examples are military. Pay. Military. If the patient is a military person, military, then civilian, other than military, then civilian, then student, volunteer. Okay, some status, if it is mentioned, means you can give the status code. Okay, this place, cause, activity, all these external cause codes, if it is not mentioned, means leave it. If it is mentioned, then only you have to code for it. Okay, they are also used only once in the initial encounter. So, place, activity, status codes all comes in the initial encounter only. In the CPC exam, you get a question where the patient comes for the subsequent visit of a fracture. Okay. Uh, the cause, place, activity, everything is mentioned in the question clearly. What will you code? You will code only for the cause. You should not code for the activity or place or status if it is a subsequent research. Okay. Then next one, sequencing of multiple external cause codes. That is, I have already said to you, if more than one external cause means you can code more than once. Right. So, if more than one condition is there, what is the sequencing of external cause codes? That is, which should be coded first, which should be coded second. 
first one is child and adult abuse okay that is if more than one external cause condition is there and one of them is child and adult abuse means you have to sequence the child and adult abuse as the first one okay in the priority list second comes the terrorism third comes the cataclysmic events cataclysmic events means uh, the calamities natural calamities like a cyclone or a earthquake or flood etc okay then the last comes the transport accidents okay so this is the simplest form of this chapter 20 external causes of morbidity now i'll give you a summary uh, what all i have discussed so far so this chapter external to uh, external causes of morbidity chapter 20 actually gives you additional information about how the injury occurred or how the health condition happen what all this additional information includes it includes the cause the cause means how the injury happened then the second one is the place of or the location of the patient at the time of the injury then third one the activity of the patient at the time of injury then fourth one status of the patient like civilian or military or student or volunteer etc and one more is their intent that is if it is a suicide attempt or if it is an assault like that if that is mentioned you have to give the intent also okay now the next important point is this external cause code should never come as a principal code okay then the next one if you uh, if there is cause place activity etc you have to sequence cause as the primary okay after that only you have to give the place activity and all okay then the next important point is this place activity and status code should only give in the initial encounter okay cause code you can give in the subsequent encounter also okay so these are the important guidelines hope it is clear for you now how to pick codes from the alphabetic index for these external codes i will be coming with another video thank you